This tutorial is all about volcanoes and the kinds of rocks that they produce when they erupt. It also looks at how geologists try to predict when volcanoes will erupt and why they try to do this. This tutorial looks at volcanic eruptions and the rocks which can emerge from them and also looks at why scientists are interested in studying volcanoes. For your exam you'll need to understand how there are two different types of volcanic eruption and how these depend upon the type of magma which is coming out of the volcano as lava. And there are two types of igneous rocks formed from lava one is from iron rich material and the other from silica rich material. Here we have two very different kinds of volcanic rock. On the left we have basalt. Basalt is a black fine grained rock which has come from magma which has come out of the ground as lava and has steadily poured out of the volcano. It's cooled pretty quickly on the ground either um, on land or indeed under the sea if it's a volcano under the sea and this is iron rich runny lava and this kind of volcano is fairly safe and predictable in the way that the lava will flow. On the right is rhyolite sometimes known as pumice again this has come out of a volcano but this has been a volcano which has erupted very violently. This rock is coming from a silica rich thick lava which often has a lot of gas mixed in with it. Hence the volcano explodes, lava bombs fly out of the top of the volcano and cool in midair. This rock tends to be very porous and spongy, it tends to have lots of air bubbles, some forms of it actually even float on water. Rhyolite comes from a very different kind of lava, this is a silica rich lava, uh, very thick and uh, explosive as I say. This basalt, which has flowed out of the ground, out of a volcano, forms landscapes like this, where you can see the swirls as the lava has cooled on the surface. Mount Tede is a dormant volcano on the island of Tenerife, and it was used in the film Planet of the Apes in 2001. Here we can see Helena Bonham Carter and Mark Wahlberg, who are the stars of the film, um, and they used this because it looked very otherworldly. This very different landscape has come from a very different volcano. Some volcanoes have silica rich lava which explodes and forms lava bombs which cool in the air and drop to the ground and give this littered kind of landscape. This picture shows the town of Pompeii which is near Naples in Italy. The picture also shows in the background the volcano Vesuvius which erupted catastrophically in AD 79 burying the town and the neighbouring town of Herculaneum in ash and dust. These towns were only discovered relatively recently and dug out of the volcanic rock. So why are geologists who are earth scientists so interested in volcanoes? Well obviously one reason is that they need to be able to predict when volcanoes will erupt so as to save lives. Of course geologists know where volcanoes are and they can predict where volcanic eruptions will be because the volcanoes tend to be on the margins of tectonic plates. As you can see on this map the small red triangles show the positions of volcanoes many of which are around the Pacific Rim and the Mid-Atlantic Ridge. So of course geologists know where these are but not exactly when they will erupt. They have a good idea of when they're likely to erupt but not to the day or anything as accurate as that. The techniques that scientists have used to forecast volcanic eruptions have become more sophisticated in recent years. They analyse the gases which are released by the volcano and the ash and the lava for changes. They look for small earthquakes and vibrations that often precede a large eruption. Also gravity changes and swelling of the slopes using tilt meters. But although these measuring techniques have got somewhat better over the years, they're still not 100% accurate. 
Although, of course, geologists study volcanoes to try to predict when they will erupt and to save lives, geologists are also interested in studying volcanoes to find out more about what is below the crust and the pattern of the volcanoes and which ones are erupting at any particular time tells them about the movement of tectonic plates and therefore they can use that to predict further movements and further problems in the future.